Okay, what we're doing here tonight, uh, we have on the top of the stack, so I have to do this standing, um, is a uh, Plessy uh, PRS-2282A shortwave receiver from the late 80s, early 90s, uh, made in England. And uh, this is one of a series. Some of you have seen the 2280s um, and maybe a 2286 control head um, it's for remote. There are a couple of others that are made, but the 2282 was made specifically for a British uh, GCHQ, which is like their, their national security agency there. And uh, so that's the exclusive, and there were less than 400 of these made. So let's go ahead and start this up. Uh, we go from, it says standby, so it does have power to it at a reduced level to keep, keep it warmed up and calibrated. So then it goes through its self-check. And then click, and there's a, there we are. Basically what you have is the internal speaker with, uh, you can do upper, lower, sideband, or off. Um, that is, I'm gonna be doing this through this NVA um, 319 JRC speaker like I normally do. This sounds better to me. Um, you have the meter here, which allows you to do uh, AF, zero beat, and RF. Um, typically, zero beats one of those. One of the things that makes this machine different is it, it seems to treat the CW mode and narrow band uh, digital modes a lot more specifically. There are additional bandwidths here, two additional bandwidths over the 2080, um, and most of those are narrow bandwidths. So um, you also have the BFO lock and a BFO with a digital readout here, which tells you when you slew one side or the other of the carrier. Um, you have a number of different frequencies, or different, sorry, bandwidths here. The, the default is, I think, 8 as the AM mode, and it is not selectable. If in AM mode, you only get that. If I went to AM here, see the light go out on the 3. So USB, I can pick it out. Now, if I have LSB, it's only 2.7 because an ISB is the same way. So it's the band, the, the bandwidths are specific to the specific, uh, modes you're in. There's an AGC with three different uh, settings, fast, slow, and off in the carrier. You can actually cha change the carrier level on that to, uh, uh, so, okay, carrier level. All right, we'll leave that like that. Go back to a mode that you can't do the carrier, <laughs> which is like AM. Um, th there's a memory functions here. You have the receiver, which if you had multiple receivers in your network, it would be numbered, but you could access it. Memories, um, you can actually go through and, and program. I've programmed some in here. So if I went to, this is channel zero. So if I went to uh, zero one, recall that, it brings up another system, another station that I have programmed in. Wow, that dropped off in a hurry. <laughs> that was about five minutes ago. That was actually just blaring in here. So, so fading. Anyway, so that's, you know, and then we've got, you have a hundred mem memories in here you can play with. If I were wanting to store one in there, I might do, um, I'm going to clear that. I go memory. Uh, actually, what I'd end up doing, clear that. Go 5050. Enter the frequency. I go in here and let's say I want to do memory and then store that. So if I came in here and did memory um, 05 recall, puts me on WWV. You can barely hear that. And then if I wanted to go back and do recall, uh, recall 1, 11 recall. I'd get back to where I was. That's how the memories work in this. Scan functions, I'm not so sure about. Um, haven't been able to find a way of doing a lot of scanning with this yet. Um, the way the tuning works, you have the, you have uh, direct keypad entry like we were just seeing there. You also have a VFO knob here, which is has a really nice action to it. Um, it's locked when you do the, v, do the direct uh, keypad in there. To open this up and unlock it, you can choose either slow or fast speed, and then you can shape, you can tune that. So down here, uh, you have different modes. 
This one adds FM mode over the 2080. So that's another difference. Um, local remote and you have on and off like we saw when we turned it on initially. Um, if I were gonna do CW, you see how the numbers are very tiny. <laughs> Be a food lock is on, that's why. So, so anyway, that's how that works. Um, it is pretty simple, for, simple to go through this. And the performance on this, let's go through some different, uh, I pre programmed some in. This is AM, of course. Let's do 05. Uh, recall. Okay, we've done that one. Memory. Um, 07. Recall. That's in uh, LSB. If it locks off on that because it, don't, it doesn't work with that. Notice that LSB also uses the default. Well, the recon does come on there, so I don't know. Don't know what we're going to do with that, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> LSB and USB are treated differently here. Um, LSB and ISB, I think, are pretty much the same. USB, you can select different. If I went to USB on this, I'd have available all those different uh, bandwidths. But here, I don't. ISB, I don't either. You see, you can hear it if we drop down to LSB here. I go to USB, you don't hear it as well. So, anyway, so that's how that kind of works. Um, let's do another one. Well, we've got to get Brother Stare, Stare in there in AM mode, of course. Um, okay. Would be hand band talking there. Okay. Okay. So this is CW. If I took the BFO lock off here. You hear how when I when I slew that down. Also, I think if I did the zero beat here, I could kind of. I guess it doesn't do that. Anyway, so that's how that works. Um, so, okay. So anyway, that's what we're talking about. This is how this radio works. A couple of things to keep in mind with this radio: the difference between the 2050, which was the the 2080 series, uh, replaced it. Um, the 2050, this whole front would come swing out and flip down so you can access the modules to plug in and out. Um, this one, the modules come in from behind like most modern radios do, and the front panel is fixed. So, um, not a terribly heavy radio. It's only about uh, only about 33 pounds or something like that. Um, and uh, it's, you know, it's, got, uh, it's got a lot of interesting features as we've seen. That BFO display is the biggest thing. You can obviously tell a 2082 by the by that. There's no no none of the other uh, of this series have that. Um, I don't know what the division button here does for memory, um, but uh, maybe somebody can tell me that.
So other than that, that's pretty much, it's pretty simple. Um, it allows you to do certain things and more than, more than other 2080s maybe we might be able to do. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this tonight and, uh, and I will, uh, talk to you next time.